Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm actually going to be giving you guys some underrated tips that are going to help boost your FPS. I also compared the rendering modes of performance mode, DX11, and the newer DX12. Just compared all rendering modes together, um, all on low settings by the way. So none of them I have like on high settings and medium or low, they're all set to low. Um, so I just kind of compared them to see what the best FPS is possible for every single rendering mode. And I wanted to do this because as you guys know on this channel, I preach performance mode time and time and time again, but there is actually a few scenarios where you don't wanna be on performance mode to get the highest FPS and also to get the lowest input delay. So this is why I highly recommend watching this video. So we're gonna start with the first comparison. I'm gonna compare DX11 performance mode and DX12, and I'm just gonna kind of fade them in and out so you guys can also see like what part of the sceneries change. You'll notice that with performance mode, it's completely flat. Everything kind of looks blocky and globby. It's because it's really skimping on all of the nice quality settings and graphical settings that kind of make it look high def and pristine and nice. And it's a lot more Minecraft looking. It looks like Roblox and Minecraft had a baby. That's what performance mode is. It's, it's super basic when it comes down to the uh, graphics and stuff like that. And you can see that DX11 and DX12 look super similar. And the reason for that is DX11 and DX12 actually use like the same textures. But what people don't know, and this is why I think DX12 is probably one of the more underrated graphics qualities, is you're still getting really similar FPS. So you'll notice like the FPS in DX12 is so close to what it is on performance mode. It's only like 20 frames less. And the reason for that is because DX12, it uses a newer technology that, that displays what DX11 has, but better. And so it's like an easier way to kind of play the game and you're not really skimping on any graphics, um, like nice quality. So DX12 is actually super good. And the thing about DX12 and why it's so underrated is if you're using a RTX graphics card, so not a GTX, because the GTX are like the 1600 series and below, like GTX 900, 1000, 1600s, those are all GTX, right? Then you get to the 2000 series and those are RTX graphics uh, cards. So on those RTX graphics cards, DX12 almost always has higher frames. So what people don't realize is actually on those newer RTX 2000 and 3000 series cards, the uh, DX12 actually can have much higher FPS than performance mode. And the reason is because performance mode is actually ran on DX11, but it's just not using a lot of the graphics and texture that DX11, normal D DX11 has. So what DX12 does is it actually uses better like the newer hardware and RTX ray tracing technology. And because of those newer features, it allows DX12 to run a lot easier. Um, there's some other coding or stuff that's like built in RTX 2000 and 3000 series that it better capitalizes on in DX12. And you can actually get like way higher FPS I've noticed on DX12. So I guess what I'm saying is if you guys got a newer graphics card and it uses um, it, and it uses ray tracing te technology, basically definitely switch to DX12. I guarantee you like four out of five of the times you're gonna get higher frame rates on DX12, even though it has more textures and stuff. Just cause again, I mean the card's newer, it's better capitalizing on those things. Um, I do want to also give you one more comparison here. So in this next part, I'm going to be comparing just looking straight at the ground. So um, the reason I'm doing this is because you actually get insanely higher FPS. So we can get kind of a bigger contrast between the, uh, the rendering modes. Now, guys, I'm using a GTX 1070. So again, that's a pretty old card. It's like five, six years old, the GTX 1070. And because of it being older, it actually is better capitalizing on performance mode than DX12. But the thing about DX12 is it's not far off. Like DX12 gives me higher frame rates than just regular DX11. Even though my I have an older like five or six year old card, it still uses whatever the technology is in DX12 better. So I'm really happy with DX12. I think it's gonna be really big in Unreal Engine 5. And I also think that a lot of like new games being developed on DX12 are actually gonna help a lot of people with uh, 
my age or newer graphics cards get really high frame rates which just makes it so much better in my opinion i just want to kind of share that tip with you guys again if you're on like a newer card definitely check you know if it's an rtx or if you're on an amd card check if it's one of the newer amd cards using ray tracing technology because you actually will probably get better fps on dx12 but yeah guys that's basically it i just wanted to show you guys how awesome dx12 is and how far it's come drop a like and subscribe it took a little bit to do that comparison for you and just basically to do all the knowledge checking and see if it really did help um but yeah i'll catch you in the next video peace out for now guys